Hello, 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 everyone. Happy, 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 happy. Breastfeeding week. Breastfeeding week. Breastfeeding week. Breastfeeding week. Welcome to the Breastfeeding Library. So this video right here is for my Patreon. The link is right below and on top. Below on top. On below on top. It's in both the description and it's the title i don't know if i can make it the title but if you hit the link right now you can join me right now on patreon i talk to you guys all the time about being raw and unedited seeing a mom breastfeeding seeing it seeing is believing to me because i get all the time y'all know i'm a lactation specialist i've been doing this for eight years shout out to me and I have impacted millions and millions and millions of families, right? So, I tell women, if I can do it, you can do it, right? If that's what you want to do. I always say, every woman's goal is not the same. Some women went on to breastfeed for two weeks. I had one mom say, I'm breastfeeding for two days. And guess what? She made her two days and she was done. She wanted her baby just to get colostrum. And I'm like, well, the colostrum really three days. You think you can go three days? So I'm like, no, I'm going two days in the hospital. Once I get home, not breastfeeding no more. But she she set that goal for herself, and that's what she wanted. So I don't pressure any woman to breastfeed because I'm doing it for this long. I understand human's milk. It have saved my life. It have saved, I say my life because seeing my husband almost about to pass away, I I feel like. If his life would have ended, mine's probably would have ended. But I know God, you know, things happen for a reason. But I'm so passionate about women understanding human's milk. It's not just milk. I get all the time. Oh, won't you just give them, just give them other milk? They too big. They too big. It's not just milk. It's way more to it. It's way more to it than just milk. Like it comes out of our bodies. We create it. We make milk for a reason. So on this Patreon account, what I'm going to do, what you're going to see on here is the life of a nursing mom. Any challenges that you may have, guess what? You, this is your community as well. You get to put an in input. So if you want to see, hey, your new mom on here and you want to say, hey, can you show the first week of a new mom what to expect? We're going to go live and we can go from day one to day five. And that has to be a topic that several moms will want to see because every day that's something that's challenging. But I will have a special account for those moms who want to see me personally or want to go live with me where I do consultations with you and I give you input on your journey, like what's going on with you. And me suggesting things to help you in your journey. What's going on, okay? So you will see all types of things. Eating, working out. Um, I, I will talk to you guys about doctor's appointments. Like baby weight gain. Input, output. How do you know if your baby's getting enough milk? Uh, every concern that a mom can think about with breastfeeding, we're going to cover it on Patreon. Um... YouTube don't allow me to do a lot of like raw, just showing you like how I eat, how I maintain my milk supply. So for instance, if the kids get sick or if something like, say for instance, Nyla was sick like two weeks ago, I will pump, I start pumping to give Jacori milk, my hubby milk, Keyshawn milk to help prevent them from getting whatever the other child has so you will be able to see all of this in my life i'm going to show you this um we can go to i was thinking about also showing birthing like um preparing you for birth taking you to different birthing centers i as you guys know my last child Keyshawn, my baby he was a natural birth birthing center no medication, just me breathing through, allowing my body to do what it's supposed to do. So I want to put a lot of that on this page too. Natural birth, educating you guys about it. Maybe we can go to, 
you know, sightseeing. We can go to birthing centers because I know it's a lot of moms on here who just never seen a birthing center, don't know what to expect from a natural birth. So we're going to cover so many different things on here. We're going to talk about sex and breastfeeding, um, eating and breastfeeding, working out and breastfeeding. What else I hear a lot? Um, smoking and breastfeeding, drinking and, and breastfeeding, NICU babies, um, donor's milk, how to give donor's milk. What if you don't make enough milk? What can you do? Any topic that you can think of. Other things that breast milk does. Grows your hair. It makes your skin nice. So I this morning, I actually applied breast milk on these bumps. Did you see how dark these bumps is? So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze a little bit out right here. And I've been applying it on that side because I, I want those black marks to go away. put some on my lips too. need to put some on my hands for lotion too you see how ashy my hands is let me show y'all a trick so if I can get it through here because I'm holding my phone so I can't really get it through my hands because I'm holding the phone but if you guys can see you see the breast milk right here okay let me put the phone down so you can see it As you can see, now you put it in here. I know y'all can see how ashy that is. You can use it for lotion. You can use it. Like I told y'all, I'm eight years in. I use breast milk for everything. I'm telling you, everything, everything. I use it for everything, everything. So as you can see, look at my hands now. Look at this. I'm telling you, it worked for everything. So you guys going to see every, I'm telling you, anything that you can think of with breast milk, you're gonna see it on here keisha keisha on the left bobble look that was real quick keisha get on the left side boo mm. we're gonna talk about why your baby like the right side over the left side we're gonna talk about it all so thank y'all so much if you are new here to patreon comment below you can message me for different topics that you want to see and let's keep it going. Y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stinky butt. Turn on your post notifications so when I drop a video on YouTube, you'll be the first to see it. Go ahead and hit my link right now for the Patreon account. Join me now because it's going to be some nice stuff over there. Nice, nice, nice learning. Learning with me for you guys to understand human's milk. Um, I saw something today, this morning, on one of these pages, where they got a whole community of low milk suppliers. And I'm like, we already got enough women out here doubting their milk supply. We don't need a whole community of low milk suppliers. But they also had reasons why mothers had low milk supply. Um due to you know NICU babies NICU stays um different medicines they're taking while they couldn't you know breastfeed um a whole bunch of different reasons but I just wish that they would have stated it the right way like these women are having low milk supply because the things that they're the obstacles that they have in their life now 100% healthy moms who can be around their babies, who can latch, who can nurse, don't have low milk supply. It's what you do that causes you to have low milk supply. So I was going through the comments and I seen a lot of moms saying, yeah, I knew I wasn't the only one. I knew, yeah, it's a lot of mothers go through a lot of things, but you have some moms who work through it all and still manage to give breast milk. And you have other moms who let those things stop them from breastfeeding. So it's a definitely a difference. Okay, but they're not low milk suppliers. Those are moms who just had challenges and couldn't overcome them. Or who had challenges and felt like, or oh, I'm taking medication and no, I can't breastfeed. So now my milk is dried up. That don't mean that you have a low milk supply that you were 
you have a low milk supply like it's in your body like you can't make milk is because you make the decision not to express if you are a mom and you are on medication and the doctor tell you hey you cannot pump i mean you cannot give this milk while you're on this medication you can still express your milk and not give it to your baby but tell your body to continue to make milk don't go without expressing because now because the doctor tell you hey you can't nurse you go without nursing you go without expressing now your milk has dried up and now you call yourself a low milk supplier when you're not you just didn't put in the work so i just wish wish that person that has that page kind of go into depth because a lot of women already could be 100 percent healthy new baby you know baby's healthy no issues mommy is healthy and in their mind already they're not going to make enough milk for their baby only thing they're worrying about is how am i going to make enough milk for my baby how am i going to make enough milk for my baby so to have this whole community where yes i'm a low milk supplier no you're not a low milk supplier you you're just you just have obstacles that you didn't overcome or you have a reason why you stopped breastfeeding, but your milk, but your body made milk. The milk is there. You just decided not to give it. Or you listen to someone who told you you can't breastfeed and do this, or you can't do this and do that. Or you looked at your milk after pumping and you compared it to a formula bottle and you're like, oh no, my baby's drinking this. You can make a 10 ounce bottle. That doesn't mean that's what your baby needs. So you could have been a mom that compared the two. You could be you could have been a, a nursing mom and pumped afterwards and like, oh my God, this is just a little bit of milk, and you stop breastfeeding because you feel like your baby's not getting enough. So it's a whole lot of reasons why moms have a low milk supply. But those moms who are breastfeeding their babies, not supplementing, doing what they're supposed to do, like feeding on demand bringing their babies to them when the babies ask to feed you don't have an issue with low milk supply most of the time these moms don't experience low milk supply i like i said eight years in i have never seen a mom say shun i put my baby to the breast every single day every time and my baby just skins and bones and never got milk and I, my body just never made milk and they are 100 percent healthy now you do have moms who have medical complications that's you know that's on like not on them but they was diagnosed with that caused them not to have make milk now you do have this but the majority of women make milk okay what happens is most of them don't have support have someone like me telling them your milk is enough. What you're doing is enough. Just keep doing it. Don't worry yourself too much. You don't, you don't, they don't have this. They don't have a support, a community. So if you're watching this video right now, go ahead, join my Patreon account. The link is in the description right now. Go ahead and join it. And you can see, you can either be like me, breastfeeding for eight years, or you can set your time that you want to stop most women i do recommend that you breastfeed exclusively for the first six months and then after that you decide what you're going to do i recommend that but hey like i said i had a mom who wanted me wanted to breastfeed for two days and she did have two days and she was done so it just depends on what you want and what you want for your baby and your child and your life but you are not a low supplier just keep that in mind. You're not. You were meant to make milk. You were made to nurture. You were made to birth. And you were made to make milk. So you have milk. Now you have to trigger the body. To tell the body. To make more milk. Or to make how much you want. Okay. So y'all keep that in mind. The link is in the bottle. In the bottom. The bottle. The link is in the bottle. Don't give it. <laughs> but the link is in the bottom right now of the description join me on my patreon account don't forget to like this video comment on this video turn on your post notifications so when i drop a video you'll be the first to see Keyshawn is just sleeping he's just sleeping away just sleeping away on the breast and i get that too 
You let him just sleep on the breast? I let him do what he want to do. Until I'm fed up. When I'm fed up, then I say, no, come back later. That's the beauty of having an older child. People say, do they be on you all day? He only takes solids. No, he eat a full course of meal. He eats everything. And he come to mommy for breast milk still. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. So if your goal is to be like me or if your goal is to be like that woman for two days, go for it. Thank you for joining. I see you over on Patreon. On Patreon. <laughs> Cause YouTube gonna block this video just because I'm breastfeeding. Like the beauty in this. And it's breastfeeding month. Right now. Breastfeeding week right now. So we should see a whole bunch of breastfeeding all over the internet everywhere. So women won't be ashamed or feel like embarrassed or feel like they have to go hide under a sheet or a blanket or something like that. We should normalize this. Like we should be breastfeeding everywhere, especially this month of August. We should breastfeed everywhere, anywhere, without a cover. Just breastfeed. Let's do it. So y'all comment below. Drop y'all breastfeeding pictures for me. Drop y'all breastfeeding videos. Y'all tag the breastfeeding library so I can see them. And I'm going to go ahead and get these kids ready for school. It's Friday. It's Friday. So guess what? I'm going to get cute, cute workout. I'm going to work out first. And then tonight, I'm going to get cute, cute, cute. So y'all can see the mom life. Go over on Patreon because I'm definitely going to go live on Patreon while I'm getting dressed. And show y'all the mom life, mom life. And I'm going to also go live on YouTube too because somebody requested a makeup video so i'm gonna show y'all how i do my makeup and how i get cute and look he's still asleep he's still sleeping Keyshawn, you like the bubbles yeah he not sleep because when they sleep i'll be like Keyshawn, Keyshawn, you like but i can tell he not sleep because i can feel a tugging while he's nursing so i can tell he not sleep he getting breast milk Keyshawn, this is usually Keyshawn feet in session, rubbing, helps stimulate the body. So I be telling women, like, I get a whole full massage from him when he nursing. Because stimulation, um, rubbing the breast, scratching the breast, it helps stimulate the body so that he can get more milk. So y'all keep that in mind. So when y'all see y'all babies, like, why is they pulling on the other side? Why is they doing this? Why is they doing that? They stimulating the, your brain to let down more milk. So that's perfectly okay to let them do that. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly normal. And these are the type of videos that you'll get on Patreon too. Me, me educating you on breastfeeding, milk supply, you name it. You name it, there will be a video for it. Okay? Thank y'all so much. See y'all tonight. And don't forget to head over to Patreon. Like right now. See ya.